Ah, I'm home. Yay, Wacko's here. Wacko's here. Yay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. Who are you people? We're your new family. My new family? Yes, Wacko. Isn't it wonderful? You have a new smack of family. Look at this. You've got your sister, Panda. <laughs> Red as your brother. Hey. <laughs> Another sister named Julia. Hi. Dad Tackle. Ugh. <laughs> Huck as your brother. Hi. And Chestnut as your other brother. And us. And the Kicker Tooth as your uncle. Hey, I'm the weird uncle. What is this all about? I don't want a big family like this. I thought we just great as the two of us. It's the three of us. Well, I thought you need a little bit more help. Right, guys? No. Everyone, get out. All right, everyone. Party's over. I guess we don't belong in Wacko's family. <laughs> And who are you? Oh, me? I'm just the silent brother that just stands there and does nothing. Get out of here. <laughs> well, except for you, you stay. Hooray! Wacko! <laughs> Look, just because I'm ruining the lot, does that mean we have to have a big family? I think having a short family is nice. And I'll prove it by reviewing this movie called The Loud House Christmas Live Action. Okay, Wacko, whatever you say. This movie came out during this year. And when I saw the trailer, I was surprised because I, because I didn't think The Loud House needed a live action remake. Usually when someone makes does do a live action remake, there's usually a, they usually give it a different viewing. Like, when you give the audience a new style to look at, it looks nice. But since you already know what the Loud House characters look like in cartoon form, making them live action would not be needed. We already know what they look like, and what's the point? Not only that, but a lot of the antics that happen in the Loud House are more cartoony. If you put it in a live action setting, it might, it might throw people off a little bit. And it might be a little bit too cartoony for its live action thing it's showing. Maybe a little too goofy for that matter. So, there. Not to mention those horrible Fairy Odd Parents live action movies. Ugh! That's the last time that Nickelodeon's ever made a live action movie. So, I am not sure I'm gonna be okay with what's going on here. Oh boy. This will be a bit of a bumpy road for us, isn't it? The story. Lincoln buys a sled for his whole family to ride on for Christmas. But when he finds out that his whole family is is not going to be around for Christmas, with Lori going to hang out with Christmas with Bobby, Lo Luna hanging out with hit with hanging out with Sam for for Christmas as well, Luann getting a gig at the elderly shelter for for a, for a comedy show. And Lenny working at her clothing job. With all this, Lincoln tries to stop all these plans from happening. And tries to have a nice, best Christmas he can have with his whole family. All with Clyde who tries to help out. This story is awesome. It's very decent. It seems like the virus stayed true to the source material. Sure, it's the story's not anything grand or anything... But it really goes with the um, structure that the, that the episodes have. Usually, in some of the episodes of Loud House, most of the time, it's usually Lincoln trying to have a man with a plan to fix everything that he doesn't like about his family. Then, he learns a lesson from the whole thing and apologizes and makes up for it. In a way, this story works very well in Loud House episode. And works well in the live-action movie to make everything that we know about the characters. In a way, it's a very solid adaptation. And, very, and it stays true to the source material. So with that, it's actually not that bad of a decent story. 
the characters. Every character is really good in this. Everybody is exactly accurate to, to default. Everyone's exactly the same in the cartoon as well. So with that, it's very, very stay. It's very, very accurate. And also, I'd like to mention Clyde over here for his for him in the story is very, very good. He works well with Lincoln, and he also definitely makes some funny remarks in the movie. Like, um, he, he interacts with his dads at one point in the movie trying to get his list to Santa. And those moments are very funny, and I just love it. So it's very cute and enjoyable. Overall, the Loud House Christmas live action movie is not that bad. It tells a decent story and stays true to the source material. While I think it was not needed, Nickelodeon did a very good well job on this one. I hope they do more next time. And I hope soon. Unlike those bad, very bad, very odd, very odd parents remakes of live action. Isn't that right, Wacko? Yeah, I have to admit that they are horrible. But unlike those, this one's not too bad, so I'll give it 8 out of 10. Very well done, Nickelodeon. Well, anyway, now that I've done that one, what do you think about your movie so far? I think it's wonderful. But, I think the one, the gift I'm going to give to my brother is... Drum roll, please! I think the best one to go with is the jingle all the way. Oh, sorry, Wacko. But since your but your movie is so but since your movie is so good as an eight out of ten, it does not map the standards as Jingle All the Way does. I mean, sure, your movie may be decent and has great and stays true to the source material, but in grand story of things, Jingle All the Way sets it best for me. So I'm gonna give that movie to my brother. Hopefully, he'll like it. Well, I'm sure glad we helped the King of Cartoons today with our gift. Hopefully, his brother enjoys it. And I hope we give enough, we give a movie that he'll surely enjoy soon enough. See you next time. Bye. Good night, everybody.